So the MD-PhD program, specifically at the University of Toronto, but certainly MD-PhD programs in general, are one of the important com uh, component programs to ask scientific questions about health problems and fill in gaps of our basic understanding of disease and develop new ways of looking at disease with respect to diagnosis and treatment. Why is this so important? What MD-PhD students really are, are people who are studying clinical medicine. They're integrating this understanding of clinical medicine with understanding how to do science at the level of a PhD scientist. This is a pretty unique human resource within the health system because we have clinicians who are experts in disease, but they're not trained scientifically and really don't invest in research generally. Then we have scientists, people who are highly uh, able with, in a whole range of the sciences in health, in health research, but these people don't have the clinical training, so they're not as aware of the clinical context in all its nuance from causation to how to treat to diagnostic issues. So they don't, they don't bring that to the table but the people who are bilingual, whether they be trained in MD-PhD programs or are trained as postgraduates and really do the same thing but get their scientific training later, they are the bilingual ones who bring this unique combination of knowledge and skills to the table and, and have been shown historically to make a very important contribution to knowledge generation and uh, new treatments in the health sphere.